It looks like Hong Sr. was upset with Hong Jr.'s behavior and threatened to cut off his inheritance if he didn't stop whoring around. Sounds like he considered Evelyn beneath the family name. And if he knew she was pregnant, I... I can't believe Lee would do something like that just for money. Speaking of money, the Hong family seems heavily invested in both Bell Tower and Lim. That could explain the cover-up and lack of a proper investigation. I'll make one last sweep to make sure I got everything. Malik, I found a baseball bat, but it looks clean. Almost like it's been washed recently. Maybe Lee washed Evelyn's blood off of it. That's what I'm thinking. But I'm not sure it could inflict the type of laceration she had. Okay, I think that's it. I'm heading to the Hive now. I doubt we'll find anything else in here without calling in a forensics team. Sounds good. Alright. Wygon District. Thank you. It's the Hive. They like me there. Not really, I think, but... Oh, hey. This needs to be hacked. Obviously. Access granted. Hehehe, <laughs> great. Drink. looks cool. I mean, it's completely useless in this case, but it looks cool. I can tell you, it's nice jumping out shit. They don't really give a damn, do they? You're walking in there. I get so lost down here. Every time I. <laughs> I don't really care. Buddy. Here, everything for good price. Um, I'm gonna sell you. I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna get rid of you. You make me poor. Deal with you, no fun. Business here, which is Evelyn or uh, stuff. I think I'm gonna buy that Peps gun though down there before I activate that uh, plot mission. Malik. I'm in the hive. What's your plan? Find Lee and talk to him. I want you to convince him you know exactly what he did to Evelyn and why. If you can make him panic, I'm willing to bet he'll spill his guts. Just make it look like blackmail. If he's willing to pay to keep you quiet, he's basically tying his own noose. I'll listen in and record everything. Got it. Alright. Just to upgrade. Uh, available Brexit points. Uh, 
Busy. Ask the bartender if you need something. Hey, who's here now? It's a tongue. Oh. Huh. <laughs> In the air, I was, was thinking that it might lead somewhere. Oh, hello. How do I know what it looks like? What, what do you I want, Chrome Boy? Is your name Lee Hong? Yeah, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. What's it to you? I want to talk to you about Evelyn Carmichael. Ev... Man, piss off! I already told all you knuckles all there is to say. Relax. Not I'm not with the me. police. I work private. And you could say I specialize in cases like yours. If you ain't police, then what the fuck you want? A simple proposition. I have proof that shows you murdered Evelyn. And I want you to pay me two and a half million credits to make that proof disappear. Two and a half? Bullshit. You ain't got shit on me, Narco. I ain't paying you shit. I strongly suggest you reconsider. And I strongly suggest you get the fuck out of my face. Because unless you got your proof right here, I ain't got shit to say to you. All right. Let's start with the police report. I know your story doesn't match up with the evidence at the scene of Evelyn's fall. Oh, yeah? And why is that? Because the police report itself was falsified. Why else would that be, if not to cover up a weak alibi? Man, you gotta be kidding me. That's some weak ass shit right there. Not only does the evidence not add up, but neither does your testimony. You lied about why Evelyn fell down the stairs in the first place. Crap. Totally forgot. Damn it. I think it was this one. I'm not sure. I might have to redo this thing. It's looking to suck. You said Evelyn was high as a kite, drugged out of her mind when she died. But we both know this isn't true. I barely remember what I said that night. But I know that ain't it. Now, if the evidence doesn't fit and your story was a lie, then how did Evelyn die on that night? Well, the answer is pretty simple, really. You killed her. But how? By hitting her in the head with that antique clock you keep so prominently displayed in your apartment. The lacerations on her head, the intracranial hemorrhaging, it's the perfect match. In my apartment? How the fuck do you know what's in my apartment? And like any good crime of passion, you needed motivation. Something to fuel your violent outbursts. What did Evelyn say or do to make you murder her? She told you she was pregnant, and you panicked. Faced with the prospect of losing your easy way of life, you struck out at her in anger. How? That's impossible. But now the final piece of the puzzle. Why was Evelyn's death never considered a murder investigation? Because your family, one of the wealthiest and most influential families in Shanghai, covered it up. But whose silence did they buy? Bell Tower. Your family's sizable investments in Bell Tower assured they would turn a blind eye to any of your run-ins with the law, no matter how serious. Fuck this shit, man! And, and fuck you! I can help you, Lee. But only for a price. All right, fuck! I can't believe this shit! I'll pay you, man! I'll pay you just... What do you need from me? Details. Let me hear your side of the story, and then we'll move on from there. I don't... I don't know! Evelyn... That stupid bitch! She was going to ruin me. I... I didn't mean to kill her, okay? Evelyn wouldn't shut up about us, about the baby, so I hit her! I just wanted to make her shut her stupid mouth. But the dumb bitch started freaking out. So I hit her again and, until I... 
until she finally stopped screaming. When I realized what I'd done, I, I panicked. She was barely breathing, so I carried her to the stairs near my apartment and, and dropped her. I had to make sure it looked like an accident. I had no choice! <laughs>